What's up guys, Josh Luck here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to target Facebook ads so you can make sure you're reaching the right audience. So without further ado, let's jump in here to Facebook and get started. All right, so we're here in Facebook, and most of the time when people create ads on Facebook, they do it directly through their business page. So over here on the left, the ad center, if you click on this, you can create an ad directly through your business page. But the problem with that is when you create an ad, you don't get insights on the audience you're targeting, you just get keywords and you can search uh, broad sense audiences. But Facebook actually has a secondary URL called business.facebook.com where you can get in and actually find a more detailed version of your potential audiences. So we're going to jump into that and if you don't already, it's a free account. So just log in through your Facebook page and create a free business account and then you pull up with this interface and we're going to be in here for the majority of this video. So over here on the left, you'll notice a three line button that says business tools. If you click on that, it pulls up these shortcuts. And now Facebook recently updated where the tool I'm going to talk about is kind of hidden. So you're not going to find it in here. What you want to do is hit this double arrow expandable button and it will expand a larger menu set. And we're going to go down here to analyze and report all the way down here to audience insights. And this is where we're gonna get an idea of who you should be targeting. So click on that and we're gonna take you to this interface. All right, so we're here now. And when it first pops up, it gives you the option to target everyone on Facebook or people connected to your page. And when targeting Facebook ads, there's three different categories of people you can target. Hot, warm, and cold leads. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about cold leads. Those are people who have never visited your website, but people who could potentially be interested in the future. So we're gonna target them and hopefully expand your clientele base. But if you're looking for hot leads, which is people who have visited your website or Facebook page before, you can certainly do people connected to your page, but we're gonna target a larger audience to hopefully grow your business. So click on everyone on Facebook, and then we will look at this. So over here on the left, we have a little menu set and we're just going to be dealing with interests because what we want to do and the goal of getting actually in here is finding the demographic and specific target audience of people who are interested in your product. Because if they're interested in your product and they're targeted correctly, they're more like likely to convert. So we're just going to focus on interest for now. So for the first, oh, I just noticed this warning up here. So audience insights will no longer be, oh, man. Facebook is always doing this where they update and make things harder. Um, but it looks like they're just gonna integrate it into the business suite. So all this will still be available. It just will be moved. So uh, the principles you learn in this video shouldn't be affected by that on July 1st. But we're gonna focus on interest. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to target someone who let's say I'm a YouTuber who posts workout videos and I want to target people who may be interested in my channel and watching workout videos. So interest would obviously be working out. And if you type that in, you can see some preset options for you, physical exercise. Yeah, that's close enough. And so when I click on that, I can see the demographics of people who are most likely interested in physical exercise. And as you're doing this, you want to keep like a pad of paper next to you or a, your notepad open um, and keep, keep notes of potential ideas for your target audience. So who I want to target, 61% women, 39% men, meaning I shouldn't sway one way or the other. I should target both equally. Um, if you find that like 90% women over 10% men are interested in yours, uh, you would obviously want to target women instead but I'm gonna do an equal set of both from the age of 25 to 44, just to get that peak um, peak set in there. So looking pretty good so far. And then if you go down here to the bottom, you can actually find job titles and the different um, jobs that people would be interested in. So it looks like administrative services has a high spike of people interested in working out. So Although that doesn't help me directly, it's good to know um, so I don't accidentally target what looks like lawyers who would not be interested at all. So you can get a good idea of the actual career people are in who are interested in your product. 
In my case, this doesn't help me, but it could for you. Now let's go back up to the top. And if you go up here to page likes, you can actually see the different pages that people like who are related to your interest. So this is good because going into this, if I was just making ads with my own ideas of targets, I would assume that gyms and physical fitness centers would be my number one target. But in fact, people who are interested in women's clothing stores should be my number one target. So like Chic Soul, the Mint Julep Boutique, which makes sense because if they are interested in working out, they're probably interested in workout clothes. So that may not have been something I thought of before, but seeing the analytics helps me open new routes for potential targets. So on my notepad, I'm going to write down women's clothing stores and travel. Uh, I don't see how that applies, but yeah, this gives me a good idea who, of who I should target. And then down here at the bottom, when you're creating your Facebook ads, you can actually target people who are like, who like other pages. So I can see chic soul is my number one relevance. Um, Planet Fitness, Ulta Beauty, um, Whole Foods, that's a good one. That's one I hadn't thought of. So people who are interested in working out may also be interested in eating healthy, so Whole Foods. So as you can see, this gives you a good idea of stuff you may not have thought of before that can really help you target your specific audience of people who would really be interested in your product. So again, write down ideas that stick out to you and could potentially spike into other ideas. And then up at the top, you can see location. Um, it looks like, let me expand this. Yeah, like I'd expect, there's no real, I mean, obviously New York because it's a big city, but there's no real spike in people who are interested in physical exercise. It's just a generic thing. But for you, if you do have a spike, you may be something very, very niche. And like, let's say you sell Maine lobster, probably you want to target Maine or something that would be related to it. And this is a good place to see um, where people who would be interested in you potentially reside. So mine, obviously, just the general United States is perfectly fine, but uh, to each his own, yours may be different. And then the last thing to get an idea of who your audience is is up here at activity. You can see what device they're on. So Desktop only is 1%, meaning I do not need to target desktop only. I really need to hone in on mobile. So I can do a mix of both, but my audience is really on mobile, which is probably the case for most things because people are on their phone more than their computer. Um, but this also gives you a good idea of what device to target. And now with all the notes you have and insight on the actual interest, we can actually go back to Facebook and you can create ads from... Facebook business, but I'm going to do it on the actual Facebook page so you can get a good idea of both. Um, if we go over here to create an ad, this part doesn't matter. Oh, shoot. Um, let's do get more leads. When you actually create your ad, this is where you'll actually apply the interest and insight that you got from searching that. So again, you should have been writing all your stuff down. Go over to, oh, this is the wrong button. Okay. Um, let me get, uh, let's do boost a post. Oh shoot, hold on, I'm falling apart. There we go, okay. This one should be able to target your audience. There we go. Okay, down here at the bottom, audience, you can create a new audience. And this is where you will type in the location, the age range. So what I learned was people who are, what, 25 to 44, so I need to target that. Uh, there wasn't a sway either way, so I need to do all audience name. Let me just work out. And then locations, me personally, United States, which is fine. And then down here, detailed targeting. This is where you put in the ideas you found. So um, what was it? Whole Foods, people who are interested in Whole Foods, people who are interested in Fabletics. So stuff I would have never thought of before, but actually diving into the insights, I learned that I should use these. So uh, Planet Fitness, all stuff that I found. And you can see all the stuff we did before, how useful this is, because now we have a good idea for reaching your target audience. And now what you want to do is you want to keep adding these detailed audiences until your reach gets about to one to four, one to four million. Um, if it's too high, then you run the risk of people finding people who aren't interested in your product. And if it's too low, you run the risk of not reaching anyone. So I found that one to four million is a good, very targeted group of people. So 
Um, if you can't get it that low, it's okay to try a bit higher um, if you just want to see how it goes. But what I've learned is the more targeted and the smaller the pool, without being too small, um, you have the most success of finding the right audience. So I hope this helped. And then, of course, you can save it once you're done. And then you're good to go. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want. I'm a new channel. I post twice a week. And uh, every subscription means the world to me. Uh, I'd love to have you all along for the ride. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.